Hi, so now we're going to learn about methods in Java. Uh, methods are a way for us to uh, build small snippets or sometimes larger snippets of code that can be called using a named reference. Uh, by calling the named reference, we end up having code that is reusable, uh, can be used by different parts of the same program or by multiple programs uh, for more modularity. So when we talk about methods, basically we're grouping some statements together and in general this is what it looks like. We have some block of code that we're working with, say in our main function, and we'll make a call to method 1. The instruction pointer for the computer will actually jump to the location where method 1 is and execute the series of statements that are within method 1. Upon completion, it will return back to the call block of code where it had left off. Sometimes it will return a value, other times it will not. Uh, that's up to the programmer's choice. You can also pass in parameters from the method. Uh, we can pass in any number of parameters and any types of parameters directly to the method so that it can be used. In the same way as if we were using some sort of mathematical function where we type in uh, two integers and ask to have them added together. So the format for methods are basic, is very simple. We're going to have some visibility. In this case, we're going to say public. Now, this is optional. There are four visibility uh, keywords. Actually, there are four visibility types uh, with three keywords, public, private, protected, and then none at all. Uh, we'll talk about those a little bit later on. But for now, we'll just say that it can be there. And for the most part, it should be public or we leave it blank. Uh, the next one is the return type. In this case, we have void. Void basically means that we are not going to be returning anything from this function. If we had wanted to, we could return any primitive type or complex type. So therefore, this could be an integer, it could be a character, a boolean, it could be even an object like a string or even a class that you may have created uh, yourself, say as the car class or a geometry class or something else, uh, which we'll see a little bit later on. Uh, the next one is the name of the method. It follows the same rules as variables uh, in terms of what is needed. We then have the parameters that are passed in. Uh, we start with an open parenthesis and then we close the parenthesis out here. Each parameter is separated by a, uh, by a uh, comma. The parameters must be declared and given a variable name. So we might use something like int i and so the first parameter will be an integer and the value that's passed in it is an i and so forth and so forth and we can have n number of parameters they can be primitive types int car boolean uh, they can be complex types string or user defined classes we then have an open brace and a corresponding close brace and our code in the middle uh, this is very similar to the main method that you have already been using the main method is the starting point for all programs uh, and it is nothing more than a method itself in terms of parameters, we pass parameters into the method. Uh, we have to ensure that the types match the types of the parameters expected. So, for example, these are the declarations. We will declare method 1 here with no parameters. In this case, we are declaring uh, method 1 with one parameter, which is of type integer, which within the code of the method, it will use the variable v as the value that's passed in. Uh, we have, in this case, two parameters, double z and double q. Again, it will use z and q within the code that is defined here. Uh, and we can even use three different types. We can do string s, int q, and double z. And you can do any number of combinations. Now, in terms of return values, when a method completes, when we process ourselves back, uh, when the code processes itself into method one, say here, public int, this takes no parameter, so nothing is coming in. Um, we define an integer here, int a equals 7. This isn't like our normal main method. And then we might do some work with it and then return a. The value that is at a will be returned back out to the calling method. Wherever it was called, or whatever line called method 1, is what will return back the value that's in a. In this case, I have public string. Again, here's my complex type string, method 1. We pass in one parameter, int v, and I may work with that in here, in, inside this code, and return an actual string. Notice that the return keyword and the value after it must match the return type of the method itself. Now, when we actually want to use and call the methods, what we have to do is call the name of the method and pass any parameters that are necessary. So here are the two simple types. Uh, one is where there is no return type. In this case, method one takes no parameters and has no return type. So in the method declaration, it would have been public void method one. Uh, in this one, we are taking one parameter, which is an integer. Uh, 
with a value of six. So the code would be uh, public integer method two int and maybe some variable z and then the six would get passed into that variable and then the code would work with it. In this case where we have method three with two integer parameters and a return integer, uh, method three would have been declared as a public int method three and then integer x, integer y, again any variables would have worked, but inside the code it is going to have a return value that will return something that it does probably with these two numbers. So you'll notice that the return of this will be used as part of an assignment into a variable here that you see int z. So where did the code for the methods go? Well, we have our public class, and here's the code that we had worked with before. And basically what we'll do is within that public class, we can just right now continue within the class, just adding, add in a couple of methods. Public void method one, here's our no parameters, and we will write some code. Public void method two with an integer d, and then our code. Public int method three, integer x, integer y, and then our code. So you see, we can put our code uh, right below our main method, but within the class. All code is going to go within a class. Uh, we don't want to put these methods inside of another method, uh, but we want them outside of the other method. So each method stands by itself within the class.